Alrighty, this week in our 58 Hometown Series, we're taking a look at the art community here in uh, Milwaukee and in and around the metro area. And I'll be showcasing artists and places and where you can also create. But joining me live this morning for a preview is Director of Programs, hey, for the Arts at Large, Bill Solid. Uh, Bill, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You know, it is so great, the, the different organizations that are in and around town um, and what you're able to do. But you guys over at Arts at Large, you offer um, classes there for, for kids and families, too. Absolutely, yeah. So Arts at Large has been around for 22 years, um, living our commitment to equitable access to the arts. And we do that around the whole city in schools and organizations and after school programs. Um, but we do it a lot here at our Walker's Point Community Center. So there's a ton of opportunities coming up. Uh, if you want to engage in the art, uh, we have our Jam House Open Jam Concert Series funded by Joy Engine, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a participatory concert experience. You could come, you can jump on the drums, guitar, piano, you can sing. Uh, if you want to come and watch people perform together who just met, uh, it's really an amazing opportunity. And we actually have one coming up this Friday uh, from seven to nine o'clock hosted by Gene Farinelli, who's an amazing jazz saxophonist. So come on out, jump on the stage or listen to some amazing music. Um, also here at our community center, we have our artists in residence program. Uh, which features three artists per year. And it's not a classic residency. It's something that part of the residency is engaging the community. We believe that artists should engage in participatory art, collaboration, mm -hmm. and education. So our residencies are really rooted in that. Talk to me. We have our next artist in residence, La Familia de Arte, which will be moving in this week. You can see the gallery is a kind of a blank canvas right now. So they'll be installing this week, and they'll have their gallery opening breath exchange next week Yes, next week, Friday the 19th from 5 to 9 o'clock. Um, and their practice is an intergenerational sculpting collective. So it's really going to be engaging. There's going to be food and drinks from Green Bay Goods, <clears throat> which is our cafe here uh, in the community center. So come on out and create with us. Uh, there's a full calendar of events on our website, uh, artsatlargeinc.org. Um, we do youth programs. We have all age learning. So if you are trying to engage in some creativity, please, Come check us out. Absolutely. I, I love the work that you guys do over there. I've been there, and there's so many other programs in and around um, the Milwaukee area as well that, that you know, allows folks to, to live their art. But, Phil, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. Hi, it's Frankie Jupiter here for your CBS 58 Hometowns DIY edition. And we're talking about everything from painting to quilting, even blacksmithing. <laughs> Dan Yankee. Uh, we are at the Milwaukee Makerspace. I am the uh, president of the board of directors here, and we are in the Bayview neighborhood in Milwaukee. We are a group of artists and makers and craftspeople, people who love to do things in the real world. Anything you can dream up here, our goal is to have enough tools in this building that you can make it no matter what it is, how you make it, what you need. We have all the supplies, materials, and equipment here, so you are limited only by your imagination up here. We have got a wood shop, we've got a metal shop, we've got 3D printers, we've got laser cutters. This is Artists Helping Artists. We are an entirely volunteer-run community. We are a nonprofit. Everyone here pays a little bit of money to cover the mortgage and the insurance. I'm Preston Edmonds. Uh, I'm the Forge Area Co-Champion here at the Milwaukee Makerspace. Uh, I shape and form metal. Ever since I was like an eight or nine year old seeing a blacksmith do this at like a fair, for me personally, like it, that was it. That turned the light on for me. That turned me on to this and made me want to do it daily, made me think about it. My name is Julia. I am the owner of Trove Arts Art Parlor. It is located in Paps Park neighborhood of Wauwatosa. It's an art studio. It's a place where we teach art lessons, but we elevate the art lessons into a little bit more uh, something similar to a paint and sip, but you're also going to experience some performances that relate to art, learn some art history, and then get to create art for yourself. 
Hanky Jupiter here for your hometown's DIY edition. And we're here at Trove Arts Art Parlor. Um, and guess what? You can do more than just painting here. This place is an entire experience. And here with me is Julia, the co-owner here. Uh, hello to you. Hi, welcome. Uh, this is truly an experience. Tell us about what we have here. It is. We wanted to create an environment that a person might be fully immersed in art. So they can come here and create, learn about art history, and also do a little exploring. And what room are we in? Speaking of exploring. Speaking of exploring, this is our treasure room. So we wanted to create a room that felt like a lot of different places around the world that has artifacts from all over that we've created and might be a source of inspiration for someone creating art. Wow, and this isn't the only space either, right, you said? No, we have a lot of secrets, so why don't you come this way? Wow. Secrets. <laughs> this might look like an ordinary bookshelf, but give it a little push. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, where are we? Well, this is one of the secret rooms. We have this room revealed during one of our puzzles in our art heist show. And this is amazing. And again, this is just part of the experience here. Mm -hmm. That's right. We try to keep things new and change things around. And uh, yeah, we just we just hope that people like being here and like exploring when they're here. Awesome, awesome. Got to go through another door, yeah. folks. This is quite the experience. <laughs> Julia, thank you so much. Uh, this is pretty awesome. Hey, guys, Frankie Jubity here for your CBS 58 Hometowns. I'll send it back to you. This is your DIY edition. This is interesting, isn't it? Oh, yeah.